Hello everybody and welcome back to Vixen Purples Crochet and more. I'm your host Cheryl. Um, today is February 17th <laughs> of 2024. Sorry guys, I had to think there for a minute. My brain hasn't been all that great because as you can tell, I'm kind of dealing with a head cold or getting over a head cold so I feel better in the last day or two that I have the whole previous week. Um, anyhow, I just wanted to come on and say hello and thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I went to the thrift store last Saturday. Um, my son, Brenton, you guys have seen him before in my videos, uh, came over to visit <clears throat> with us and we um, had some dis issues with my tires on my, my car. And so we've been doing a lot of running around. That's why I didn't have a video out on that day. There's rags. Sorry, you'll be hearing life noises. I kind of have dogs all over the house today. <laughs> uh, my son is on vacation, who is also becoming sick like me. Um, but he'll get over it pretty soon. It wasn't bad. And, and of course, I've got Oscar and, of course, Rascal, who wants to come up and say, Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Is that what you wanted to say? Is hi, Mom? Yeah, you're such a spoiled, rotten boy. You want to say hi to everybody else? Look, say, say hi. Come here. Look, look, look here. Look here. Come on. Oh, no, no, don't mess with the, the stand area. Okay, he's not wanting to say hi. He's just going to be in my face instead. So, yep. And then, of course, I have Rags, who is trying to sneak over here. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, anyhow, it's been a, been a kind of a rough week, um, with cold and dealing with everything in life. But anyhow, back to the story before Rascal rudely interrupted, <laughs> um, we went to the thrift store and I didn't, I didn't get much, but I did get some things. Um, stop it. Leave, leave Sweepy alone. <laughs> he, he doesn't need you on his derriere come on anyhow <clears throat> we went to the thrift store i was having issues with my car um having a tire my husband picked up a nail in it and we took took it over and had it fixed well they didn't fix it right so anyhow we had to pick that up and get it taken care of and got it home finally safe and sound so but nail was fixed it, the hole was fixed um anyhow I got two, only two small bags, and I will show you. They're the, the Walmart bags. Two of them. So I was a I was a good, good girl in some areas. Most of this stuff was on half off, with the exception of a few things. Um, but let me show you, let me pull out some of the stuff that, uh, I got in this haul. So I wound up finding, this was a half off ticket at the time and it was marked $1.99. Whoops. Sorry guys. It was marked $1.99. It was a half off ticket. This is a full ball of Red Heart super saver in the color Americana so it's a brand new ball I don't have a whole lot of the Americana uh, colorway and then I found maybe a little bit of used on this one it's called periwinkle but it's also red heart super saver so it's almost a full ball this was marked $2.99 it was marked half off, so I got it for a dollar fifty. So there's at least a hat or two in there, maybe even a scarf. Who knows? And then I picked up this. This is the Red Heart Cloud uh, yarn that they had for the like um, Lion Brand homespun. I sometimes makes make hats out of this. This is a like a baby color I don't remember the exact colorway but it's pretty nice it's very 
Costelli, as you can see. So I have, there's enough in here to at least make a hat or who knows, even maybe a lovey to go with that. And I paid, it was originally marked a $1.99. I only paid a dollar for it. So, and that was just it on that one little bag. I'll have to say that when I went into the um, the thrift store and I was looking around, they they rearranged, which was nice because they had all the yarn up and into bags and where you can actually ha see them and and go from there and stuff. But some of the stuff that I I felt that they had in those bags was basically scrap balls and they were asking way too much money once again even though it doesn't seem like it was a lot but to me it was a lot when you had little balls like this and smaller and and they were asking three and four dollars for it and I'm like oh no it's not worth it <laughs> so um, they had this which is the um, lion brand not the lion brand Cheryl come on the Burnett uh, blanket yarn I don't know what color it is, but it's in the blue, blue tones. And this is not quite an exactly a full ball, but they had marked this one for $2.99. This was not a half, half off ticket, as you can see. Um, but I could still make something out of this, a chicken or only no, who knows what. Um, in that so I picked up that I really shouldn't have because to me that was just too much even for a half used ball of yarn um, but anyhow and then while I was and this is why I was was wanting to tell you this is what I was talking about where they would have stuff like this smaller than these and they were marked they had this one marked for uh, $2.99. This was half off. And the reason why I got it, because I felt there was more than enough of this gold to do a hat or use as an accent color. There was probably enough hair to maybe do a sparkly hat. It's a thin, thin, thin yarn. And so it kind of feels like... Um, Oh my gosh, maybe an ice yarn, but it could, I could be wrong um, on that, but it's not. And then they had a scrap ball of a, uh, a chunky yarn, which is fine. I will figure out something to do with that. But this was the main reason why I got that bag was because of these two. So I got that in this. So let me put these back in here. Let me put them. Oh, nope, there's one more stuff in my bag. I'm running out of places to put this stuff. <laughs> um, the other thing is that I bought was this one. And I think I paid $2.99. I paid full price of it. But then again, the reason why I bought this is because this is the Burnett Velvet. <clears throat> it may be a full ball just wrapped up in a ball and then they had this is what I'm talking about stuff like this scrap balls in a bag for that for two or three dollars full but anyhow so that's why I picked up this one was for at full price was because to me this was well worth the three dollars so now I've got that so that could be something don't know what <laughs> just yet <clears throat> um, that's empty. So the other bag I picked up is this one. Let me pull this stuff out. They had this. At first I thought it was Burnett um, blanket yarn in black, but what I opened it up just to see. This was a half off ticket. It was marked a dollar ninety nine. I picked it up for a dollar. And this is. Um, a roving, almost a roving style yarn. 
on that. It's really soft. It might be a full ball. I don't know. I have to unwind it and cake it up. But for a dollar, I thought that wasn't too bad. Because it still could be a, the, um, a hat or an access to something else. While I was there, I found a good size ball. This was marked $2.99. This was a half off ticket. For um, So I paid $1.50 for this. <clears throat> to me, this is a three weight. <clears throat> I'm not sure what brand it is. You can definitely tell it's acrylic. So it's not too bad. It's a three weight for sure. You can see how thin it is. But it's a, it's a pink, so I figured this can be a lovey or something. Don't know just yet. And I'm unwinding it. There we go. So I can do this. So for uh, half off of $2.99 for $1.50 and getting this much yardage, yeah, that was a pretty good deal on that. Um, while I was there, I also picked up, let's save that one for last, this one. This was marked for $2.99. I got it for half off. And I got some Red Heart with Love and what appears to be an older Jiffy yarn, which I have no problem with because to me, that will make a cute hat. And there should be more than enough there to make a basic beanie. So there's that one. And this colorway is Red Heart with Love. It's probably a, ha a used ball. <clears throat> it's called Camo. Cameo. And then somebody picked it up. It looks like it might be Walmart or something. And picked it up for a dollar fifty. So that wasn't too bad. I wish I'd gotten it for a dollar fifty. It'd be great. But I got two yarns for basically seventy-five cents a piece. This will be a hat or maybe a scarf, who knows? Or a cowl on that. While I was there, I also found <clears throat> I found this one. This was a full price and I picked it up and it's a Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway Woodsy. But while I was looking at it, there is Two crochet hooks in this bag with this yarn one is brand new still in the box for package this I paid $1.99 for getting two hooks plus the yarn that was a good deal so I wasn't going to complain on that one let me open it up so I can show you guys the hooks see I was saving this all to show you guys <laughs> so they're both boys, and this one, this is an older boy, and it's made in the USA. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, it says USA on there, and it's a G uh, 4.5 millimeter. This one is a 6 millimeter in the purple, still in the package. So... I'm not going to complain about that because I use the boys for um, while traveling or something like that because I'm not going to get upset if they're if they get lost or whatever happens to them. <laughs> um, now, if it was my tulip hooks, um, my little bit more expensive hooks, I'd be a little upset. And then they got the colorway of Woodsy. This appears to be a full ball. So I got that one with those hooks. And there goes the hooks. Um, while I was there, I went to the book section and I found <clears throat> two pattern books. Um, they're an older, older books. They're from Leisure Arts. and Yeah, both of them are from Leisure Arts. Um, let me show you this one. It's called Urban Edge. Uh, designer by Sharon Shannon, sorry, 
Shannon Mul Mullet Blousy. And it's 13 designs in sizes small to 3X. And this is what the book looks like. This was marked $4.99. Okay. It normally retailed for $20. Bucks. And it, the binding is still pretty good. Looks like it hardly been used, but there were some pretty nice um, photos in here of different styles of shirts. Um, the, the instructions are in large, a little bit larger print, which makes it nice, especially if you have sometimes a hard time reading things <laughs> and need glasses. I know I go through that. It also has diagrams in there <clears throat> of designs. That's kind of cute, too. <clears throat> Is that? But yeah, for five bucks, I thought, I mean, yeah, five dollars, I picked this one up as well. And while I was there, I also found this one, and it's called uh, Leisure Arts. It's the Crochet Closet, and it says 15 Designs to Enhance Your Wardrobe by Lisa Gentry. This is what the cover looks like. <clears throat> and I paid um, $4.99 for it. <clears throat> Hold on, guys, just a second. <sighs> Sorry about that. I had a coughing coming on, and I didn't want to cough in your guys' ears or whatever else that sounds kind of rude. <laughs> Anyhow, I picked this book up, too. This was uh, $4.99, like I said. And this book originally retails out to $19.99. Yes, 1995 U.S. originally. So I don't know if this book is still in production, um, but there are some pretty nice things that I thought, hey, try. We'll see what happens. Let me see if I can pull something up. So there's this one. That's pretty cool. And there's quite a few things in here. See. And there's this one. There's a quite a few bit stuff in here. I haven't gone through it all. I want to take some time and do that. There's some seems to be some nice things, and um, they all look pretty simple. And once again, the print is pretty um, easy to read, especially when eyes are getting old, um, like mine, and I don't have to wear my glasses to read this. Now, some of my other patterns, I do have to wear my glasses because it's a little hard to see. So, that is it for my haul that I got on Thursday, not Thursday, on Friday, um, Saturday of last week um, while I was out dealing with my car and stuff. Now, um, stay tuned. I do have some more uh, videos that I'm going to be making. I do have um, a small whip that I have whips finished objects that I did get um, I have some other things that I would like to show you guys that my my hubby got for me for Valentine's Day he was real sweet I didn't get him anything and I feel so bad but circumstances are he wants guitars and right now I can't afford guitars <laughs> I can afford yarn <laughs> more than I can afford the, the guitars and uh, but he gets his stuff and He's appreciative for it and everything else like that. And it doesn't matter. We got to spend time uh, on Valentine's Day because he didn't go to work. I didn't go to work because we were both sick. So we kind of had a Valentine's Day being in misery <laughs> with a cold. Not fun, but it was had happened. But anyhow, guys, um, I've taken up too much of your time as it is. Thank you guys for joining me today. I do appreciate it. By the way, we have um, partly cloudy skies. We got about three inches of snow last night. That's why it's like super, super bright. Um, and now it's starting to warm up and melt off, which is nice. And everything else like that, we're going to have lots of fun. Hopefully we don't have any more snow for the rest of the week, which will be nice and I'll be good. Um, <clears throat> dealing with a cold and working in a very cold shop did not help with this, but... I'm okay. I've been taking lots of vitamins and trying to rest as much as I can. 
and take care of myself. All right, guys, you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys on the next video. Big hugs to me, to you guys. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.